Welcome to a lessons learned session presented by Predictive Solutions. In this session, we will look at observation best practices as they relate to severity. We will discuss the calculation of severity as it relates to unsafe observations entered into the safety net system. There are four choices for severity within safety net. Low, medium, high, and life threat. Some companies choose not to use all four, but all four are available. Severity is equal to consequence times likelihood. This risk calculation must be made for each unsafe observation entered into safety net. It is up to the individual observer to make this determination. Consequence can be broken out into low or high. If the potential for injury is less than hospitalization, then the resulting consequence is low. If the potential for injury would require hospitalization or worse, the resulting consequence would be high. So if you didn't do something administratively, didn't do a toolbox talk, most likely it's going to result in a low consequence. Not tying off uh, for fall protection, most likely high consequence. Then you make a determination for likelihood. How likely is that hazard going to result in an injury? Low would be unlikely or remotely possible. High would be certain or probable. You would then combine the two results to determine your severity. For example, a low likelihood with a low consequence would result in a low severity. A high consequence with a, high, with a low likelihood would result in a high severity. So you use the chart accordingly. Now, let's make an example. Here we have two workers exposed to a fall greater than six feet. First, we determine the consequence. If they were to fall, worst case scenario, injury would require hospitalization or worse. So the consequence would be high. Then we have to make a determination of likelihood. How likely is one of those workers to fall? Here I put the likelihood is high based on the environmental conditions, based on the fact that there are no protections available, no guardrails, no fall protection system, not tied off. So high consequence, high likelihood results into severity of a life threat. Even if you as the observer chose the likelihood being low, high consequence, low likelihood is still a severity of high. Example number two, here we have a cluttered room, poor housekeeping. If somebody were to fall based on this hazard, most likely it's going to result in a consequence of low, most likely a low risk injury. But the likelihood based on certain traffic conditions, based on carrying equipment or not being able to see the floor properly, I would say the likelihood is high, low consequence, high likelihood gives us severity of medium. Frequent feedback to observers is needed to gain a consistent approach as it relates to assigning the severity value. The best way to do that is to do a severity calibration. That's where you take a look at what's been entered in the safety net, do the calculation based on consequence and likelihood, see if those two differ, and give feedback to the individual inspector based on what was found. This is necessary so that because everybody looks at risk differently. Once this is done and everybody starts to look at severity and assigning severity the same, we will gain confidence in the data. That will allow us to prioritize, prioritize our needs best, focus our resources where they're needed the most.